My name is Patrice Taylor. I will demonstrate how to do the following. To work in position, threaded the machine, set the tension. I'm working on a chunky. I set the tension to one. I'm using a four ply yarn. I'm going to knit one row. This is called an open edge cast on. Hang my weight and knit another row. I'm going to knit several rows before I create my cast on rag. Then I'm going to stop, pull my needles to forward working position, and I'm going to change yarns to my main color yarn. It's just going to be the blue. With this I'm going to do a crochet cast on by using the hook. Pulling it up through the first needle and down. And I should put a clothes pin on this and hook and cast on loosely And hang the last stitch on the last needle and thread the mach thread into the carriage. Untangle my thread. Okay, now I'm ready to knit my cast on rag. Knit several rows. And to create a longer cast on rag, just crochet cast on using all the needles on the bed. Knit several rows, ending on the left. And now I'm ready to bind off my Red band off the stitches. And I want to have a loose bind off. Here is the finished product. At this point, I have removed the ravel cord at the bottom from the rag. And now I have my cast on rag a small sample of a cast on red. Now let's say I want to create a scarf, an infant scarf. Using my cast on red, I pull out 20 stitches for the scarf. Using the cast on red, I hang the stitches onto the needles. 
directly onto the needles. Pull the needles out to fold working position. Hang my weights. Now I'm going to. All right, using the cast on rag that we created, hang it onto the required number of needles. In this case, it's 20. The next step you want to do after you hang your cast on rag is to use a ravel cord. An open ravel cord. Pull through the hoops. This will enable you to unravel the rag from your project, which is the scarf. All right, break that off. Of course, you can use the uh, clips to hold them together. Now I'm going to use the main yarn of the scarf and e-wrap it onto the ravel cord. Create a loop knot at the end. Hang it on the needle to the left and draw it through the ravel cord. Repeat across. and attach the thread to the carriage and knit the scarf. And knit the required number of rows. Ending with the carriage on the left. At this point we can do band off the stitches Alright, I removed the uh, little scarf from the machine and note the ravel cord. At this point, to separate the rag, cast on rag from the scarf at here at the top, we just pull out the ravel cord. And the two will separate. This is your cast on rag. We use over and over again and this is your scarf finished product of course it would be longer but this is how you do that